Hey, Quadcopter 101 here. Um, this is my MJX X400. Uh, as with all geared propeller quadcopters, sometimes you want to get in there and be able to clean those gears. But the X400 has a uh, special way that you're going to need to know how to take it apart so you can get inside there. Um, I'm just going to go over it step by step real quick uh, in front of the camera here. First thing you want to remove is this larger uh, screw just in front of the LED. If you want to get inside this particular camera or this particular gearbox case, you got to remove the screw first. Just quickly take it out and place the screw aside. Try to keep remember where it came from. Now this you're going to need to remove this entire pod off the an arm of the uh, quadcopter and to do that I would recommend first popping off um, the particular landing gear skid on the side that the arm is on. Now if you notice on the top of the pod uh, there's a little plastic clip that holds the pod along with this bottom screw holds this pod in place. Um, you're going to need to depress it a little bit here with say a screwdriver or some other um, device <laughs> push down on it and at the same time push outward. Um, once you get it started you can push out with both thumbs and the pod should remove or sh should come free by itself. Um, notice one thing though that these motors, the motors are plug-in so that uh, it's easy replacement of the motors if needed. Okay uh, but we're trying to re remove this bottom uh, gearbox case and to do that we're first, we'll first need to remove these two screws on the top of the uh, motor case. Remove and then also remove the top screen in the motor case and I'll show you why here shortly. Again place these screws on a, a side in a place where you'll be able to find them later. But That's one screw. Here's the second screw. Let's remove that. And then place it aside. And the reason you're going to need to remove this screen off the top of the motor case itself is if you look inside there. Let's see if I can well, this particular one doesn't show it. <laughs> but there's a third screw in there that you're going to need to remove to be able to remove this pod. Um, you can only access it by actually removing the pod from the arm itself. Let's assume that that, that screw is still in there. You remove it and place it aside. Now, once you remove that tiny screw, third screw from the uh, case, uh, consider not reinstalling it because that screw is not really needed. Uh, to hold this uh, lower gearbox case on. It's just a third screw, uh, e extra screw that I feel does not need it. But now to, re to remove the bottom gearbox case, now all you need to do is remove these two screws from each side of the propeller. Loosen them. Place them aside. Now the reason that there's no third screw in there right now is because obviously I've been inside this gearbox case before and left that screw out, that one that goes in there. And to remove the case itself, there we go. You just pinch it together and it lets, lets the clips loose. Here I haven't, didn't fully unscrew this screw yet. And put this aside. And there you go. Now we got access to the gearbox or to the gears themselves if you need to get in there and clean them. If you need to remove this motor, you push down on it and it pops out the top. And again, very easy replacement, uh, just a plug-in clip on the motor. Uh, these motors are run about $350 each on AliExpress. Uh, I believe I've included a link somewhere on RC Groups when we're to get them. Uh, very cheap motors. Uh, other components for this quadcopter are also available currently on AliExpress. Uh, I guess this is a popular quadcopter in China, so you can easily find parts for it. But again, uh, this is important that you're able to get in here so you can clean these propellers. You want to keep it free spinning like this, because uh, if any dirt gets into these gears, it will kill a motor. So that's how you take the pot apart. Uh, you put it back together by going in reverse. Um, hope everybody's learned something here, and hope this has been helpful. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.